I needed her to survive. And I left that hospital without knowing if she was going to live or die. I was never one of those people who felt like I had to have a kid. And when we found out that Valerie was pregnant, we immediately jumped into action. You know, we started doing all this research and we found a midwife that we really liked and we all collaborated on a birth plan and we were gonna do this hippy dippy water birth at a birthing center. And a typical pregnancy lasts 40 weeks. But my wife got diagnosed with something called preeclampsia, which basically means that she's allergic to being pregnant and her case was severe. And at 24 weeks and five days into the pregnancy, my daughter Rain was born via emergency C-section in order to save Valerie's life. I saw the surgeons hand Rain off to this group of other eagerly awaiting doctors who hooked her up to a bunch of machines just to keep her alive. And that was the first time I ever saw her. I, I just caught the quickest glimpse of her as they were handing her off. And, and she was so small and she was just over a pound and she was limp and she was lifeless and she, I just remember she was so quiet. And I remember thinking to myself, how is she possibly going to survive the night? And she did survive the night and the next morning, Valerie was out of danger as well. And we started talking to the NICU doctors about the plan for rain. They said flat out, a million things could go wrong, but they said they were committed to getting her through this and they told us that her recovery could have a lot of peaks and valleys, but hopefully over time it would trend slowly upwards. And you know, before we knew it, she was alive a couple of days and then she had survived a couple of weeks and then a couple of months and, and we were feeling better about things. It seemed like we were starting to get control of things. And, and Valerie and I did whatever we could do to help. You know, we, we were at Rain's bedside. I read to her every day. You know, I, I read her Treasure Island and Call of the Wild and Tom Sawyer and all of those books were way less child friendly than I remember them being when I first read them. I loved reading to her every day. I, I felt like we were getting to share these special moments and I felt like I was helping her and I felt like a good dad for the first time. And, and then all of a sudden she developed a lung infection and, and everything went haywire and the doctors gave her a blood transfusion and, and they gave her steroids and antibiotics and nothing was working. She just, she got progressively sicker throughout the day and around midnight the doctor came to us and she said, I wanna try one more thing. And then she looked at us and she said, if this doesn't work, we're out of ideas. And she told us that we should go home and try and get some rest because we wouldn't know anything until the morning. And as I was packing my things up and saying goodbye to Rain, I, I realized that this might be the last time I was gonna be able to do this. And I just got hit with this overwhelming sense of guilt because I thought about all the times in my life that I had talked to people and said that I didn't want to have kids and I hated myself for ever having those thoughts because it was so clear to me. I just wanted, I wanted more time with her. And I left that hospital without knowing if she was going to live or die. After a sleepless night, Valerie and I came back to the hospital and we saw the doctor and she just, she looked exhausted and bleary eyed and she saw us and she smiled. and. She came over and she told us that, you know, Rain responded really well to the treatment and she was out of the woods for now. And I, I just, I wanted to laugh and cry and puke and pass out all at the same time. I had never felt anything like it. I didn't know what to do. And that was one day in the NICU. And my family and I survived 149 more of them before Rain was finally able to come home. And she recently turned four. And I'm a full-time stay-at-home dad now. And I'm always just reminded of how thankful I am to have one more day with this amazing kid that I never knew I always needed.